Hello. Today we're going to talk about the ATR or volatility trailing stop. I'll show you how to install it, how to set it up, and how to use it. So let's go into CR charts. I have opened the S3 T3 chart book, but this will work with any chart book, whether it's an auto trading chart book or uh, a manual one. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we're trailing, uh, trading the YM. This is a back test because I'm recording this on Sunday. And also I want to show you what's different about back test versus live sim. Okay. So first thing you want to do is open up the ATR stop chart book. Okay. And as I said, we're trading the YM, so I'm going to do YMM8. Whoops, YMM8. And you can see that the stops are indicated by dots above and below the current price action. The long stop is below, it's in yellow, and the short stop is above. The idea is that this is based on the average true range over the last few bars and that's all adjustable in the studies. So let's look at the inputs first of all. Let's look at the average true range and it's listed as 14 period based on a simple moving average. You can adjust the period, you can adjust the average. The idea is that the average true range is an indication of how much price has changed or how quickly it's changing. Now there is an input to this as well. There's a multiplier value you can use to increase or decrease the sensitivity of the ATR stop. Right now it's set to 1. Let's, what happens if I change it to 10? You can see the stops are way, way off the board. How about 5? Okay, well, they're pretty far up. Um, this indicator, ATR, is 8 points. That's 32. T um, 80, 80 ticks at the YM. Um, so let's go and change it back to 2. Okay, so it's not going to be twice as far away as if it were at 1. So you see how that works. If you want to adjust the sensitivity or the multiplier, you can certainly experiment with that. Now another adjustable value is an offset in ticks. The idea is we're going to trail us. We're going to uh, we're going to draw a line at one of these stops, and either that's where your stop is, or you can say I want my stop to be one tick or two ticks or three ticks away from that. So that's called the offset in ticks. Right now it's set to 1, so the trailing stop is going to be one tick away from the, the, the closing ATR. Now it's only going to move in one direction, it's not going to move against you, it's only going to move in the direction that reduces your risk. Okay. Now, there are the way this thing works is a study called Trade Management by Study. Trade management by study means you can adjust the stop from an attached order based on another study. Okay, so the AT, the long stop is adjusted based on ID six result SG one the stop long SG one. Okay, and the Similarly, there's one for the shorts, and these are shorts. Now, you don't need to adjust these, but there's one thing that you should know, is that this should always be enabled. If it's disabled, it's not going to auto trade, it's not going to auto exit, it's not going to uh, get you out of the trade based on the, uh, the trailing stop. So that should be set to yes. Um, I'm going to show you now how to create a button that can turn that on and off. So we'll go into control bar, customize control bar one, and I want to put it right after my 
auto, auto trade chart button. I want to put it right in between these two buttons. So I've got, so I select the ATC, and then I go down to, and you'll have to do this. I can't do this as part of the file. Go down to Advanced Custom Study Buttons, and add a button, one Custom Study button, and then click on Properties, and you want the description, the button, I just put in TMS for Trade Management by Study, or you could do TMBS. And the description is just to enable, you can put this in or not, but basically this is ACS1. This is the button that's needed to control the trailing stop. So when we add that and we click OK, it repaints the control bar. Now you see there's a button here called TMS and here's the text for that button enable disable trade management by study so going back to the studies the stop says here ACS control bar button for enable disable is button number one okay and same with this one button number one and that's what we just added to the control bar so if I go out I'm disabling the, the auto exit. I go back in here, you can see that it now says enabled is now no. So it saves a lot of clicks when you want to turn it on or off. So we want it on, and I'm just going to leave that on, and that's for this chart. Now, this chart is meant to be added to another chart book to enable the exit based on the ATR trailing stop. So what you do is you do a duplicate chart to chart book and the one I want to duplicate it to is the S3T3 quote chart book and I click switch to this chart book I say OK. Now what that does is it places a copy of that chart into this chart book. Now you see I have its chart number two and I have chart number one and over here is chart number nine. So chart number two has now been imported into this chart book and it's ready to to get set up for trading, auto, uh, to, to be a trailing stop. Now we already checked the symbol. They're both the same, YM, M8. If you want to link them, they're already set to link one. Okay, L colon one. If you go into chart settings, and you go to advanced settings 2 their link number one based on the symbol so you could actually minimize this chart you could go over here and say I want to do NQ okay so while that's loading Okay, so now we've added, now they're both in queue, and I showed you how to do the multiplier, um, I showed you how to do the button, let's change the time frame here. So right now, if you change the ATR stop to something like a Flex Renko, it's not going to help you much because it's always going to be very close. The ATR and the Flex Renko is pretty constant because you're basically looking at the size of the previous bars and they're all the same size when you're when using Renko bars. So what you want is for this one to be a time-based chart. Right now I've picked three minutes. I could go to five minutes, Let's see what that looks like. And the stops have moved out a bit. Okay, the ATR is now 6.41. If I go to 10 minutes, The ATR is now 12.55. The stops are going to be even further away. Okay, so this all depends on how volatile the market is and how much you want to uh, trail as close or far away. You can slow down how fast it trails by increasing the distance these dots are away, either by changing the time frame or changing the multiplier, as I showed you here in the inputs. 
Okay, multiplier. Okay, so we're going to leave that. We'll go back to three minutes. But you should experiment with this and see what you're comfortable with. Okay. Now, we want to test this. If you're in live sim or live real money, you don't need to worry about being on the account. All you need to make sure is that your trade simulation mode is not on, that you're in, that this is unchecked. I'm going to simulate this in a back test so you can see how it works. Now, since I'm doing a back test, I can have multiple accounts that I trade under here. So we want to make sure that this one is trading under the same account. So I'm going to attach a trade window to that chart. You see it's on SIM 1. I want to make that SIM 2. Now I can remove that trade window. I don't need to see it anymore. Okay. Now, in order for the HR stop to work, Auto trade has to be enabled not only for that chart and the trade managed by study has to be in, but auto trade global has to be in as well. So if you're on an auto trade chart and you're already auto trading, that's fine. Once you're on this chart, it needs to have auto trade chart also. You don't need to enable trade managed by study on this chart. It only needs to be on this chart. But since they're tied to the same account, you'll see the same order bars. All right, so let's go back and do a little replay action here. Okay, so I've backed it up to a point in time where I know an auto trade will occur. So let's go ahead and push play. Now we're looking for a short here. So the ADMA is below the T38, which is the first condition. Then we need a close below the ADMA, which this bar is working on. Okay, now we've got a magenta bar. We've got a second magenta bar. We need that T38 slope to go red or to go negative and then we'll get an arrow it says T8 but it's the T3 study with an 8 period setting okay and I think the setting here is 5 ticks below the previous close and then this one will get an arrow You see that you can check that in the studies for the S3 inputs. And yes, it's set to five ticks. So I'm going to click ahead five seconds. Okay, we've got an arrow forming for a short. At the close of this bar, it should enter a short position with an initial stop of 100 ticks. Now you see it actually did, but it moved that stop right away to the short, the stop short indicated on the uh, ATR chart and it'll keep moving as that ATR moves down. It will not move backwards. It only moves in the direction that reduces your risk. Okay, so let's skip ahead five seconds. Okay, and see how you can see that it's moving down. The ATR stop is moving down. ahead another five seconds ok 
Maybe let's speed this up a little. Okay, now I can also adjust my target. I don't need to sit it. I don't know if 100 ticks is a good target, so I think I'm going to go for something a little closer. But see, it almost got stopped out there. Probably that one tick offset made the difference. And you can add one, two, whatever many number of ticks you want to add to give yourself a little extra room. Okay, let's go another five seconds. So it doesn't adjust automatically as the uh, thing moves. It adjusts every so many seconds, which is adjust, which is something you can change in those settings. Okay, now it looks like we're going to get more. So I'm going to move my target down a little more. Okay, this is moving closer to the break even. And by the way, your trade management can include break even and other settings here. So you don't have to just use one of your tricks. One of your tools is to adjust the stop based on your trade, man trade management setup. That will take place regardless of the trade management by study. So if the stop is already further ahead than your ATR stop would have taken it, then you just have to wait because it's not going to move it backwards. It's only going to move it in your direction that reduces your, reduces your stop, reduces your loss. Okay. So this is a no loss trade. Our stop is above break even by um, it's three ticks, four ticks, five ticks. We got 21 ticks already on this trade. Uh, looks like it might be trying to reverse. We got that doji there. So I'm going to flatten here. And we got 19 ticks. So that. That is how we do the ATR stop, the volatility stop.